your future casts coming up. Kelly and Stephen. All right, Katie, thanks so much. Back to our breaking news this afternoon. A convicted killer found guilty for the murder of four people, including his wife, will be put to death. A panel of judges reached that verdict for 41-year-old Gurpreet Singh this morning. And WLWT News 5's reporter Karen Johnson has been following this since the beginning, was in the courtroom when that capital sentence was handed down, and she joins us now from Hamilton with the details. Karen. And good afternoon, Kelly. You know, for the last five years, victims' family members have told me repeatedly they not only wanted to see Rapreet Singh get convicted, but they wanted to see him get sentenced for the deaths of all four victims. And that happened today. We, the three-judge panel, do hereby unanimously find that the aggravating circumstance that the defendant was found guilty of committing does outweigh the mitigating factors presented in this case by proof beyond a reasonable doubt. We, therefore, unanimously find that the sentence of death should be imposed upon Gapreet Singh under count one of the indictment. Gapreet Singh sentenced to death for murdering his wife, Shalinda Jikor, her parents, Hakikat Singh Panag and Parma Jikor, and Parmajit sister, Amar Jikor, inside their Westchester apartment in 2019. All four victims were shot a total of 16 times. Singh showed no emotion this morning when learning his sentence. Afterwards, relatives of the victims shared hugs with each other and handshakes with members of the Westchester Police Department. They told me they found some peace today and this should now help them heal some of their wounds. And I actually just got off the phone with uh, one of the sons of Amarjeet, one of the victims in this case. He told me they just uh, were at the Sikh temple. They were there, gathered a bunch of them praying, and they were on their way now to the Westchester Police Department to say thank you. Reporting live in Hamilton, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, did either of Singh's defense attorneys make any kind of statement afterwards? No, not yet. They did storm out of the courtroom, the courthouse, without saying a word to the media. However, there is a formal sentencing that has to be conducted. It will be uh, scheduled for a week from tomorrow, so they still have an opportunity to speak if they choose to do so. All right, Karen Johnson reporting for us this afternoon. Karen, thank you. Also breaking at noon, a 14-year-old accused of...